morning. So it is a Saturday morning right now. Just check the clock, just kidding. It's a Saturday afternoon right now. It is 12.40 in the afternoon. Where did the morning go? I don't know. I wasn't exactly planning on vlogging today, but I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and do it. I had a couple of things I wanted to do today. I just popped into the post office, dropped off some Ronnie packages, dropped off some Poshmark packages. I feel like I'm at the post office constantly. My dad is always like, why are you always going to the post office? And I'm like, I got, I got stuff to do. Some guy just pulled up behind me and is not getting out of his car for some reason. It's an awkward time of afternoon right now because I know it's technically lunch time but I'm not exactly hungry right now I know I will be probably in the next hour but there's this little shopping complex that I go to that I absolutely love it's such a nice vibe I take my Kindle there I grab a cup of coffee at the coffee shop that's over there and I just hang out I could literally be there for hours I love it there's some pretty good restaurants there too the little complex I think it's called like the shops at the Sportsman's Lodge or something. There's also some really cute shops, like there's a Reformation, there's a Madewell, there's a Fred Siegel, there's a Salt Sunglasses store, which make some of my favorite sunglasses of all time. Anyways, they put out a little promo on Instagram saying that there was going to be like a artist's market or something like that. I'm not quite sure what to expect. The way it seems is that there's going to be like small businesses or just local people who make something and they're gonna kind of come almost like farmer's market style and sell their stuff. That's what I'm interpreting at least. I don't know exactly what it is. But since I love going to this little shopping complex every weekend anyways, I figured let me go Let's see what it's all about. Maybe we can find some cute small Local people who are hand making some cool items. I don't know It could be a complete fail for all I know, but I was gonna go there anyway to read so may as well check it out I may or may not grab another latte while I'm there I did have a cup of coffee at home this morning And this is something I wanted to ask you guys because I feel like everybody has a different answer to this question but if you are a morning coffee or tea drinker, more so a morning coffee drinker, do you get your coffee out every morning or do you make it at home? I feel like some people are very mixed. Some people just wanna make it at home and some people are like, no, I will spend $5 a day and get my latte out and about. And I'm just very curious. I typically go out to get a latte about once, maybe twice a week. But most of the time I just prefer making my coffee at home mostly because I'm not awake enough to drive in the morning without my coffee so I feel like if I don't make it before I leave the house I'm already risking my life and everybody around me but anyways I did make my coffee at home I might get an afternoon latte that was the whole point of this rant so let's go to the artist's market thing let's go check it out I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Oh my goodness, you guys, that was so much fun. I forgot how fun it can be to just go out and do something solo like that. And this particular event was absolutely perfect. So there was probably about 20 different small businesses. And when I say small businesses, I mean they are owned by literally a single person or maybe a duo. And they're just running this little business 
by themselves just selling handmade goods. So amazing. There was everything from vintage headscarves, jewelry, leather bags, vintage clothing, candles, body products. There was even like this rock and mineral polishing thing. You like buy the rock and then she had an area where you could kind of scrub it down and see what it looks like all cleaned up. Super, super cool stuff. Oh my goodness. I was trying to resist because I love, I love supporting small businesses, you guys, but I could not resist. There was a little booth with a ton of jewelry and the woman who was there was basically telling me how all of the rocks and the stones that she uses for her jewelry, a lot of them were actually from her father-in-law. She said that she started the business quite a while ago, but I guess even before that, her father-in-law for like three decades has been collecting stones from around the world. It was just like a hobby of his. So he knew where all the stones were sourced from and the story behind them. And it was just so amazing. And as we were talking, her father-in-law actually like popped up behind her and he was the sweetest man. Oh, I just couldn't. I was like, I have to, I have to support this family business. I cannot not. And I just, I loved their stuff. Most of what she had out were rings and a lot of them were like layered rings. And you've probably noticed I am wearing what I ended up purchasing. It's this absolutely amazing stacked ring. It's actually just one ring, but it's three different stones and they're all cut differently as well. I love it. I tried on so many different ones. Oh my goodness. And I ended up going with this one because I loved how it was neutral, but it still popped. And then the center stone here is actually a moonstone. And her father-in-law was telling me the story of how he found that moonstone and he cut it in this way to really make that moonstone like gleam. I'm a sucker for something with a good story. I just have to admit, but I do love my new ring. That's all I walked away with. I was tempted by a lot of other things. I was tempted by the headscarves, the vintage clothing. There was another jewelry little stand that was absolutely popping. It had, um, what do you call it? Like celestial, like ast astrological, the star signs. They had like star sign pendants and stuff, like vintage ones that she sourced from overseas, like Germany and places like that. Super cool. I will admit I'm not a big astrological person, but even I was kind of tempted to get a Sagittarius one, but the booth was just so busy that I was like, you know what? I'm not so into it that I'm gonna wait here for 30 minutes for this, so I left. I left it to everybody else who was very happily purchasing their astrological sign little pendants. Even Madewell had this little cart outside their store where they were giving little Madewell koozies and Topo Chicos. So adorable, what the heck? I. That was fun. You guys, this is the this is the best Saturday I've had in a while. Now I need some lunch. I need lunch, I'm hungry. It's a beautiful 80 degrees outside today. Sunny, wonderful weather. Um, nothing sounds more refreshing than an acai bowl. So let's do it. Let's go get ourselves an acai bowl. That acai bowl just hit. It just hit. While I was eating, I was almost wondering if the reason today feels like a particularly special Saturday and why I'm extra just excited today is because the Taylor Swift Speak Now Taylor's Version album launched yesterday. Now that I think about it, I think that's why today's a better day than usual. All day yesterday, I was listening to that album all day on repeat. Absolutely amazing, loved it. Complete flashback to freshman year of college, which is when the original Speak Now album came out. I will admit that the From the Vault songs on this particular album, they're not hitting like I was hoping they would. I always get very excited about the Taylor From the Vault songs and especially from her Fearless album, I felt like like the songs from the vault were just amazing. This album, I feel a little bit so-so on the vault tracks, but of course the original album, as is the full Speak Now Just journey that you go through, amazing. Am I the only one that 
literally was in tears by the end of that album. Part of it had to do with just, I mean, the lyrics hit differently after you've been through situations like that. Of course, a lot of Taylor Swift music is about heartbreak, breakups, relationships, love, etc. And the first few albums when they came out, I was in high school and I honestly didn't start dating until I was in college. While I still loved the music, I didn't particularly relate to the lyrics as much in high school because that just wasn't my phase of life at the time. But now that I've gone through breakups, I've gone through love, I've gone through trials, I've gone through all the relationships ups and downs that Taylor talks about, now at 30 years old, mm, it just hits, it hits you guys. I think this is just gonna be a car vlog, you guys in case you haven't noticed yet. We're just gonna be in the car all day. Um, there is a Target not too far from me right now, and I'm wondering, do we really wanna cap off this Saturday really good by going to Target? Maybe. Uh, we love a good Target run. Okay, I convinced myself. Target run it is. Um, I do have a couple groceries to get anyways, so we may as well just grab them from Target. Excuses, excuses. Any excuse to go to Target. <laughs> run was a little bit of a fail, I will admit. I said I was going for groceries, but uh, I got there and realized that Target just doesn't have good fresh produce. Unfortunately, if that's the kind of stuff I want, which is I was looking for onions and sweet potato and bananas and stuff like that, you kind of just have to go to a proper grocery store for that. I did buy one pair of sandals. I tried them on and I hummed and hawed about them. I'm trying not to impulse buy stuff that I don't have a reason to have. I've been really good about decluttering because I am moving soon. There's a whole moving saga involved with that, which ugh, we'll get into in another vlog video. I don't even, honestly, I don't, I don't even want to talk about it right now, but um, I'm trying to declutter. I've been putting a lot of stuff up on Poshmark and I don't feel quite as bad if it's like small businesses, local places, because you actually feel like you're supporting you know, like the common man, but uh, Target is not a place that I have to support. Either way, I did get them. They are so pretty. I'm sure you guys saw them in the montage, but they are this gorgeous, like braided, silver, sparkly, rhinestone-y sandal. They're flat, they're double strap. They're actually surprisingly comfortable on the feet. I really do like Target sandals. I love Target shoes. Again, I haven't purchased a pair in a couple years because I've just been trying not to purchase unnecessary things in general, but these are gorgeous. I will leave the tags on them in case I don't wear them in the next month or so. I can always return them, but they are very pretty and I don't have anything like them. And they look like a gorgeous pair of sandals that you you can obviously very easily dress up. The final topic I want to talk about in this vlog video, like I said, we're not, <laughs> we're just chatting in the car. You, me, we're hanging out, we're having a date. That's the way it is sometimes. Um, but the final thing I did want to chat with you guys about is threads. Are you guys on threads? I did not realize that Instagram or Meta, I guess it's it's Facebook. They came out with their own, essentially Twitter. It's called Threads. And I'll be honest, I have not logged onto Twitter in so many years. I have friends that are still on Twitter that tell me how bad it is and how horrible it is. And they just don't, they don't like that social media platform anymore. I haven't used it in years. I, I wasn't excited about it. But when Threads launched, I was like, okay, a new social media platform with the same premise as Twitter. You know, you're just writing like daily updates or instant updates throughout your day. Just something that could be fun. I signed up for it. It was super easy to do through Instagram. You can very easily follow, like everyone you follow on Instagram, you can just immediately follow them right onto Threads, which is so 
cool. I love that feature and it's been really fun. If you guys have followed me over there, um, I have just been updating you guys random things throughout my day or random thoughts. I told you guys I was super hyped about the new Taylor Swift album to drop. I also threw up an update on a book that I recently finished, which was The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. If you guys want to know my quick thoughts on that book, go over to my threads. That's going to take some getting used to, to say, because it's just a new platform that I'm now trying to promote. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. It may not turn into anything. By the time this video goes up, threads might not even exist anymore. Who the heck knows? I don't know where this is going. This is literally day three of threads existing, but I'm having fun with it, you guys. I've really been enjoying it. I'll throw up book updates. I'll throw up makeup updates. I'll throw up life updates, random thoughts that I have throughout the day. It's basically Twitter, but seemingly less toxic. And also because I don't have that many followers, followers over there. There's just a couple hundred of you guys. If you guys have any questions or anything you want to ask me, shoot it over in threads. I've been checking it multiple times a day. I've been updating you guys at least every day and I'll be keeping my eye out for any at mentions. If you guys have any, you know, just generic questions or comments or concerns or whatever, throw them up on my threads. But anyways, to be honest, I just wanted to get out of the house today and honestly just to stay out of the house for as long as possible. I've been out for what, like, five or six hours now so it probably is time to go home i will give you guys more updates in future vlogs about like moving and what's all going on with that i just kind of wanted to keep this one light and bright i woke up feeling really good today so i figured let's just do a really happy chill low-key vlog video chat with my online besties i appreciate you guys being here so much thank you for hanging out with me don't forget to thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed it if you guys just like these chill videos videos. I will continue doing them. Take care of yourself. And other than that, I will talk to you guys in a future video. I'll see you then. Bye.